exactly the word in the correct word. So Paul had a vision. I don't deny Paul had visions. People have visions of Mary, of Jesus, of anyone you like, of visions of their dead mother. It, it happens, but you don't necessarily base a religion. So we know that Paul's vision that he had in Acts 29, in one of the accounts, people who were with him saw nothing. So it wasn't a bodily resurrection like seeing a flesh and blood person. No, it was a vision. So when Paul saw the resurrection, remember he said succession. First he appeared to Peter and James and John, then he appeared to me. So, so we can retrospectively say, so what Peter he saw was a vision, forget, what John uh, saw was a vision. No, no, no. no. According they, to that logic. They, saw the they all saw no, visions. No, 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 that's completely incorrect. They all saw the actual resurrected Jesus, excluding Paul. Paul comes later, I think Paul. He said he did see Jesus. He no, said the no, 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 no. Those to be. He, he wasn't among the uh, tw well, 11 disciples who saw Jesus. He came afterwards. Yes. So saying that Jesus appeared to the 11 disciples first yeah. and then me later, when that occurrence is separated by decades, technically it's not incorrect. But he said they, that he lastly, he appeared like yes, he had before but not to in the me. Same instance. Ah, Paul doesn't say that. He doesn't but say. We, we can contextualize that it wasn't the same instance. But Paul says it's the same appearance. He appeared to Peter, then he appeared no. to me last of all. Are you, I, you know, no. are you saying that? We can look it up. He is not saying that, for example, if Jesus arose on a Monday, that he appeared to me on the same Monday that he did the other 11 uh, disciples. He's saying that the disciples were the first to see the resurrected Jesus, and then I saw them later, and it was almost like decades later, I think, uh, between the um, Paul becoming a, uh, a right. well, like one of the early Christians, and then Jesus ascending into heaven. He isn't talking about the same instance. We don't believe that Paul was one of the original 12 disciples. No, but he had same, uh, I've, got, I've got the passage here, it's in 1 yes. Corinthians chapter 15, yes. and Paul is telling them about what he thinks the gospel is, which is very different from the gospel of Jesus, but that's a bit by the by. So Jesus was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, and that he appeared, this is what he believes, yes. to Ka Cephas, which is another word for Peter, and then to the 12, right? So he's appearing to a succession of people. Yes. It's really important we grasp this. He appears to Peter, then to the 12, then he appeared to more than 500 brothers and sisters at one time, most of whom are still alive. Hang, hang on. Then he appeared to James and to all the apostles. Last of all, says Paul, as to someone untimely born, he appeared also, also to me. Right, we have a That's succession fine. appearance. Now, the, now, the point is though, when we look at the nature of this experience, according to the New Testament, yeah. it was a vision, not a bodily appearance. Therefore, likewise, all the other were also visions. No, it's the same appearance. It could not have been a vision. It's the same logic. It's, it's, the same logic. It it's not, not saying, oh, my, my appearance not. was completely different from this. I just not. had a vision. They saw Paul the, the real body. He didn't say that. Thomas, he appeared example, to them all and to me. To touch the same the thing. The whole his hands yeah. and in a side. So very clearly, Thomas experienced a completely no, different. No. And, and, and not, not to mention that Jesus dwelt with the disciples for a number of days after he was resurrected before he went to heaven. So we, we fully accept that the disciples had a different interaction with Jesus compared to Paul. We do not believe that they were all visions because you cannot ask a vision to allow me to touch the holes in your hands and sights. But Paul didn't say it was a vision in his letter to 1 Corinthians. No, he he no, says, so, last of all, as to one untimely body, he also, in other words, again, including un what he had done to them, he so, appeared to me. I, I think that that's a key word, untimely born. So not born yeah. in the same instance of which the, uh, the physical manifestation of Jesus uh, was seen by his 11 disciples, the 500, and uh, uh, any other person who uh, saw him before he physically ascended into heaven. Yeah. That is not proof, by the way. I, 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 think we, I know we've gone like far away from where we were initially. Okay. But uh, this gentleman was under the impression that Paul affirmed that the crucifixion and resurrection was not a real thing. And he quoted that verse to prove that. No, I said the resurrection and wasn't bodily. That was my argument. Okay, sorry. I, I didn't say the resurrection. He, he believed in crucifixion and resurrection, but it wasn't bodily. But it wasn't bodily. Well, then don't, don't forget that in the canon, we believe that, the, that the, the, the stone was rolled. There was no body in the tomb anymore. He could say the disciples stole them, but somehow they have to get, get past the centurion. There is more evidence, by the way. I've not exhausted all the evidence. There's okay, other well, passages which say the same one, thing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't agree with. But carry on. Okay. Because the resurrection of Jesus was bodily, and that is the belief held by both Paul and the disciples. I don't think, I don't think so. Yeah, but don't forget, he said, and to, and to one untimely born. He not, also appeared to me. He also so appeared to me. He appeared but, to them, and he appeared to me. Yeah, Remember, yeah, also, he appeared to me. in the same instance. So if, if I appear to you today, and I appear to somebody else 20 years in the future, and then the person records me appearing to you, and them, 
It's not the same as this. It's a different in time, but not different in yeah. that. Yeah. No, it's no, the no, same no, Jesus no, appearing, it's appearing to me at different times. Jesus disappeared to the disciples physically. But as a, in the reading of it, does it at least suggest that they're all said visions? No, no, no it, 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 was a, it was a physical thing because no one can interact with a vision. You can't touch a vision. But then Thomas did. Th Thomas touched Jesus physically, I, I, and that was the vision. I don't think he. I don't think he did. I, um, and he, he asked. He asked to present Jesus' hands and side. I don't think he did. So that he could touch the, uh, see the holes. So Thomas no. says. So Thomas was. I know, but I'm still saying no, and there's a reason. Thomas was told. If you're interested. That, that Jesus yeah, was resurrected, yeah. <laughs> and he said, unless I touch the holes in his hands yeah. and on his side, I will not believe it. And then later Jesus appeared and then told Thomas to uh, present this exercise so he could prove to him that he physically uh, appeared. And the other disciples saw this as well. It wasn't a, a shared vision, he was actually there. I don't think that's true. Uh, I, I, that is what we believe he, to be true. He, he well, can count it. No, I, well, I, I, I can, and it's a commonplace. Uh, I, I apologize in advance, it's going to sound boring and dry, but nevertheless, it's, it's an answer. The fourth gospel, the Gospel of John, is seen by virtually all biblical scholars, including Christian biblical scholars, today, in fact, for the last 200 years, is a highly developed, highly interpreted account. It's not seen as historical. It's seen as, a, as the last oh, no. gospel written towards the end of the first century. Okay. And the stories in it are highly elaborated and embellished. And the story of Thomas touching uh, Jesus, which is in John, you don't find any other earlier gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, or anywhere else. That's uh, fine. Hang on a second. It wouldn't make any sense no, for them but to the, repeat the same thing over and over I just, again. I knew it would be boring. I, I, I did apologize. So, so if you go to any uh, mainstream biblical scholar, uh, Christian or otherwise today, yeah. uh, Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, Yale, whatever, they were all they were in agreement, and they've been in agreement for nearly 200 years. The history of the study of the Bible academically is a very highly, it's a very sophisticated piece of scholarship. And if you look into this, you'll realize the Gospel of John is the least historical of all the Gospels because it has Jesus do and say things that no other earlier Gospel has him do and say. For example, he, he says, I am the light and uh, I am the way, the truth and the life. Uh, before Abraham was, I am. I am the rest. All these wonderful I am sayings are not found in any other historical source. We have earlier historical sources. And the argument scholars is this. If Jesus had gone around saying these things and doing these things as the last Gospel written claims, why does no one record him doing and saying these things. And there's not only a whiff of it in any other earlier source that Jesus spoke like that. Also the other telltale signs that John is a much more uh, interpreted sermonizing account. Now what's this got to do with the resurrection? Well this story, which if it happened, surely would be an amazing story. And no, Mark knows nothing about it, neither does Luke, who's investigated everything carefully from the beginning, he boasts at the beginning. Neither does Matthew, no one else mentions it. So this is likely to be a, a fictitious story made up as John does <laughs> with Jesus' sayings. He may, uh, this is, uh, uh, your own scholars say this, by the way. I'm no not, he's not way. atheists. Your own top scholars are unanimous on this there view. There is no way. Oh, so they, they, they debate the account of John, the Gospel of They, they there, all say that no it way. is, if you want the historical Jesus, you go to much earlier sources. Uh, you see, traditions, religious traditions embellish. There's stories made up in the later Muslim tradition about this, uh, this, this person and that person. We go back to the original sources that are reliable. And unfortunately, John is not early. It's not considered reliable by the top Christian scholars and others. And yes, I can tell you who they are. Name well, their books. Are you going to say Bart Ehrman and Bruce Metzger again? No, Bart Ehrman's an atheist, but nevertheless yeah. he is a scholar. But, but he's a, he just doesn't call but No, but it is standard. Look, Jim, I'll, give you, I'll give you some names. I don't even know them. Uh, Jimmy Dunn, professor uh, at Durham University, or, NT, uh, or uh, people like uh, Leslie Holden, Mike Graham Isley. Stanton, Richard Burrage. These are all top professors in Mike New Testament Isley. studies. Isley. They're all ordained no. Christians. No. Yeah. All ordained Christians in Britain. And then we can go across to America or Germany. This is the standard view of Christian scholars now. The problem is, though, the, the, no disrespect to you, the average Christian, I'm not saying you're average, but anyway, the average does not know about this scholarship. There's this big gulf between those who know, who've investigated these, and, and the average man who doesn't know anything about it. And they simply open the Bible and say, oh, well, it says it there, it must be historical. But Christian scholarship has moved on hugely in the last two centuries. That's no longer the case. It's bad news if you're a Christian. When I was a Christian, I was a Christian, I learned this when I was studying this at university. And boy, did it hit me hard. But we have to deal with the facts. The scholarship, responsible mainstream scholarship, no longer takes the Gospel of John as simple, unvarnished history. It's highly interpreted, late tradition. And it portrays Jesus in a certain way that no earlier source does. No way is Jesus saying, I am the way, the truth, and the life in Mark or Matthew or Luke. It just taught like that. It would be redundant if all of the Gospels repeated the exact same thing. Because then you'd only need one letter for the Gospels from the disciples who were there with Jesus. 
So it makes sense that they did not say the exact same thing at the exact same time. Inclusively, there are likely to be accounts that were picked up on by some disciples and not others. So when we read all four of the letters of the disciples, then we can get a more holistic view of what Jesus was. In, in relation to the uh, criticisms of John, I am not completely familiar with all of those, but I would say that there is no indication that we should not take John as part of the gospel simply because there are claims by some scholars. Oh, I think you, you virtually, well, I said 99 percent uh, of scholars. I don't know about that. I would say at least. No, no, well, I do. What, what, you, actually, you name three. I, I so would how say. How many are there in total? Well, look, well, should, we, should we go through university by university? Should I mean, we go from sure, Oxford, if, Cambridge, if, if, if London, want, Harvard, to, Yale? But no, I can go no, through them. Sure. All the major scholars there, there no are in complete however, agreement that, that John is a largely heavily interpreted account by which you mean fictionalized, unfortunately. For the historical Jesus, you go to the earlier sources, like you would the Hadith. You don't go to late Hadith. You go to early authentic Hadith. But these are your scholars, not me. So it should appear on the earliest. No, 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 no. Thank you. I said thank you. It's redundant, no, no, no. It's redundant <laughs> if all of the disciples who wrote uh, parts of the gospel yeah, repeated the exact same thing over and over again. Yeah, Sorry. It should appear on the earliest gospel exactly. rather than the newest. This is no, a good. The, this is a good point okay, because now, Luke, for example, said that issue. he was writing an orderly account to tell it. He told you the eyewitnesses to give an orderly yeah. account to you, dear Theophilus. So it says at the beginning of Luke, long before John was written, and in his account of Luke, Jesus' life from his very his conception to his death and resurrection. Nowhere does he ever have Jesus speaking the way yeah. and saying the things he does in the later written Gospel of John. He meant to be inclusive. Look at this. If Jesus had gone around, flesh and blood Jesus, downtown Jerusalem or Galilee, saying, I am the light of the world, before Abraham was, I, making these extraordinary public claims, why on earth wouldn't Luke mention this? Why on earth wouldn't Mark mention this? Why on earth why wouldn't Matthew mention, mention this? Why wouldn't no one mention it until we get to the it's end of the first century? century. You know, it's, it's, it's no dream, one mentions you know? it. It has to be there. It's know? not early, it's late. And that means, because Christian, we know in, history, in religious traditions, embellishments happen, exaggerations happen. We can see this even in Matthew, Mark and Luke. We can see how when Matthew and Luke use Mark, they embellish and improve the status of Jesus. He becomes more divine. He can do more things There's and more no miracles. We that. see that. If that is the focus which they wanted to capture in the retelling of the story of Jesus, that is fine. We have no issue with that. Why would, right. Luke, why would Luke ignore these marvelous public statements of Jesus? I mean, there's such an important facet of Jesus' ministry. Why ignore them? I cannot give a reason as to why. I mean, the light but of the world. He focused I mean, on other attributes. Of I'm not going to mention Jesus. that. Simply mention because that. one does, or why one it? makes it's not important in their writings, but not the other, does not then mean that that one is to be ignored. These are all, uh, reading all four will give you a holistic view of Jesus. And I doubt any of those scholars are of the mind that this book should be ignored or thrown out. No. So therefore, the lessons that are captured within John are poignant. And so when I talked about uh, Thomas feeling the physically resurrected Jesus, simply because um, uh, of the idea that John, uh, sorry, that uh, John, yes, sorry, came later, and a number of the other Gospels does not mean that that story must be thrown out. No, it means that it's late because it is literally late. But, but now, it also now, means, if you look would, at the... Would any of the scholars who you mentioned, mm -hmm. would any of them agree that because of the criticisms for John, that then means that the resurrection was not a physical thing? Would any of them say that? Yes. Who? Okay, now, now, now we can discuss. Okay, but let, me, let me explain. Tell me, tell let me explain. Of the scholars If you look at the earliest gospel, the gospel of Mark... Because John right? came later, that would then mean that uh, when Paul speaks of the resurrection of Jesus, it was strictly uh, um, sort of like, like no, a what, what do you say? not physical. If you look at the earliest gospel yes. uh, uh, in the New Testament, the gospel of Mark, we look at the resurrection appearances, yeah? Yeah? No. There are no resurrection appearances in the Gospel of Mark. The earliest Gospel in the New Testament does not have any re resurrection. But you'll say, you get the Bible out, you'll see stories have been added on. Yes, they have. But they're added on later, in the second and third century. How do we know this? If you go to the earliest manuscripts, the Codex Sinaiticus is the earliest complete New Testament manuscript in the world. In just two miles from here in the British Library, you can see it. I've seen it many times. It does not have any any of these added on stories because the earliest evidence they were not there they were not quoted these have been added on by scribes when you say quickly put on the resurrection of Jesus because it's not Just there in our earliest it's gospel not, it's not a full account of the gospel is not it is there are no resurrection appearances in the earliest gospel in your Bible but that's they, a fact they are not a complete account of Indeed. what the letters I don't believe it does 
But you, but what you believe is okay. The, it, it doesn't alter the fact that there aren't any resurrection so, accounts, wait, 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 wait. even so, if you so don't believe the, it. The core of standard I'll show you. I'll show you. I've got the NRSV, which both. is the standard academic work. Okay. Let's look. This this is the uh, the new revised standard version, the standard academic we translation. We are talking about the I'll resurrection of Jesus, and and he's claiming that Paul, a later apostle of Jesus, uh, never held the belief that Jesus was physically resurrected. I disagree. I, I meant it in the hard physical sense that John portrays it. Absolutely, he didn't believe that. And I mentioned the reasons why. Now, you see here, um, this is Mark. Um, and here we have the shorter ending of Mark. Jesus appears to his disciples. And the longer ending of Mark. These are not original. They are added on. They are added on. Most, in most authorities, that is manuscripts, verses 9 to 20 follow immediately on. They're not in the ancient manuscripts. So th these are added on. You see, they've got the double uh, brackets there and there. They're not part of the original Gospels. They've been added. Other ancient authorities, they have further stories. There are all these stories that were added to the Gospel of Mark well, to, to include resurrection stories that weren't the originally in the original Bible. The Code of Sciaticus is uh, carbon data for what? It's like. What is it, the third, fourth century? Or it's the middle of the fourth century. Okay, it's the middle of the fourth century. Clearly, these these uh, teachings have to have come from somewhere. So be, I believe that at the time, um, manuscripts were written on a uh, very temperamental fabric called papyri, which would disintegrate over time if not properly uh, kept uh, in, in like a dry uh, and, and, and uh, like a dry and like in cold fashion. So the complete gospels that we or the or the gospel story that we have in the Chorus Sciaticus from the fourth century come from much earlier sources that date back all the way to the first century. I don't know if the Codex Sciaticus has the entire gospels within it. Yes, it does. I think there are potentially parts that are missing. But I will, well, I, I well, will the, confirm the, the, that. It is a complete I'm New Testament. That something was that is the earliest copy we have. It doesn't, it doesn't have the resurrection. So you're saying we found an earliest manuscript and it doesn't have the part of resurrection. You're suggesting that, that this is a short version of what was originally there. Yes, because we, can, we even have letters from uh, like, like, uh, church fathers from the first century who affirm the resurrection. No, that's different. I'm not talking about, so, of course, so the it, fathers it affirm was, the resurrection. I'm talking about the end of as Mark. as far back as the first century yes, it was. that the resurrection occurred. Yes, of course. So simply it's there in Mark. Mark and Luke, and it's there in Luke okay. and John and, and simply Matthew. because it does not yeah. make it. Uh, now, no, sorry, with the course Atticus, you're, you're claiming that which section, sorry, doesn't make it in. Right. I, I, I'm, I'm just saying, I, yeah. I have to say this already yeah. very clearly. The earliest gospel we have, which is in the Codex Sinaiticus as well, yes. is called the Gospel of Mark. Now, the reasons why scholars think this, and we can go into that if you want, but okay. I'm just telling you what everyone, all, all educated Christians know and accept, it's not a dispute. Mark is the earliest. In Mark's Gospel, the earliest manuscripts we have do not contain any resurrection appearances at all. Now, other Gospels, Matthew, Luke, and John, do. I'm not saying it's not there in the Bible. I'm saying the earliest evidence is not there. That's all I'm, it's a matter of fact. This is not in dispute, by the way. I'm not saying anything controversial or wacky or de It's totally mainstream. Everyone knows this. You still have your resurrection. It's there in Luke or Matthew or John, if you want it. I'm just saying it's not there in the earliest. That's all I'm saying. It's not there in the earliest Gospel. And when Paul is it. He's not talking about the hard corporeal resurrection you see in John. I agree He's talking about that. a more spiritual resurrection. Yes, he calls it. There's more evidence I didn't go into, by the way, in his letters where he talks about flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. He's referring to the resurrection here. He believed it in a That's spiritual body. He called it a spiritual body. Now, in the ancient, in Greek metaphysics, a spiritual body was not a physical body. It was something ethereal, something more like a, a vision, a mist, something. It wasn't a hard flesh and blood. That's, That's what Paul said in his letters. That Jesus didn't physically resurrect because it depends what you mean by physical. Jesus rose from the dead in a physical body. What do you mean by physical? <laughs> Go, go, go find out, go find out. It was new, of course. It's new. Jesus, Jesus is not resurrect in the Old Testament. It was the new, okay? And there's a third piece of evidence as well to deny the resurrection of Jesus and now, it happened, uh, which is quite powerful. when I say resurrected, I literally mean that the physical body of Jesus Christ uh, was reanimated, escaped the tomb, and physically went and uh, uh, met, uh, preached to, and stayed with the disciples 
for I believe a month before, or, or 10 days, or one, one of the two, two figures before he physically um, resurrected, sorry, um, ascended into heaven. And Paul does not affirm that this physical manifestation did not happen, simply that when Jesus appeared to Paul later, it was visual. Okay, I don't agree. There's another uh, more serious theological reason why I don't agree the resurrection of Jesus, death and resurrection, no, crucifixion wait, happened. A, a, mom, a moment, Sorry. a moment, okay. if, if I may. Yes. We were talking about a very specific thing, okay. which is to do with Paul yes. not affirming that Jesus was resurrected physically. Yes. You make the case that he did not, and I make the case that you're, the evidence that you're giving is not affirming. I would say we have evidence. It was, I would say we have evidence. But when he appeared to Paul, we have evidence is fabricated. That Paul fabricated. I have the actual evidence in the Bible, which I, I can give. It's not based on. It's based on a very particular reading of the scriptures, and it's this. A but, very particular reading. Okay. Yeah. Well, well indeed, as yours, yours is a very particular reading as well. In, in uh, one, as is yours. I just no, said it no, was. No, no Christian has ever ever believed uh, that, right. that uh, when Paul spoke about the resurrection of Jesus, that it was done uh, in a non-physical way. Uh, well, they have actually uh, in the early church. Who, which Christian believed the that when Paul the spoke about, but then the, the Gnostics were then talked to by Paul, yeah. who then told them that believing in the resurrection uh, me, uh, metaphorically is not the. the, the, well, the, the but the they disagree. With, they disagree with Paul and call Paul a heretic. So. Uh, coming that back, is true. Uh, coming back and to then Paul, Paul told them that they were wrong. Coming, yeah, but Paul was wrong. I mean, the Gnostics were right. Uh, I mean, it's just like you know, he said, she the said. The Gnostics you know. were not right because the disciples. Well, they were right on this issue. The disciples were not from the Gnostics. Okay. okay. Coming, coming back to the, the the real substantial reason why Paul, what Paul claims about the death and resurrection, yeah. death on the cross and resurrection of Jesus, is a, an invented story, it, it, it's, it's very powerful, I think. And remember, in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 3, Paul says that this is the gospel. And in fact, well, I'm, I'm going to more or less do it verbatim. The, the Christ, that is the Messiah, this is what Paul says in 1 Corinthians 15, died for our sins according to the scriptures this is the Jewish Bible and rose again from the third day in accordance with the scriptures he repeats this in accordance with the scriptures twice at least twice he's referring to Christ's death for our sins and resurrection from the dead on the third day very specific I'm right, aren't I? You, you did say this. You, you, you are, you are correct. Uh, Thank you. Physical, of course. Well, you didn't say physical. That's not my point. Uh, my point includes that, but it's not limited to that. Point. Well, you didn't say spiritual either. Well, any form of resurrection is 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 a, is, is didn't happen. I any form of resurrection. Let me explain. Uh, much about let me explain why. I'm giving the reason yet. I'm giving the reason yet, mm -hmm. and it's quite easy to demonstrate. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is Paul's claim. According to the scriptures, the Christ, the Messiah, would die for our sins on the third day be rose again from the dead according to the scriptures. This is the problem. You go to the scriptures. What are the scriptures? The Jewish Bible. Paul only had the Jewish Bible. Okay, you didn't have a Christian Bible. It didn't exist. It hadn't been written then. You go to the Christian Bible, a Jewish Bible, what the Christians call the Old Testament, Genesis through to Malachi. And you look at all the statements about the Messiah. And there are lots of statements about the Messiah. Never once will you find any reference to the Messiah, the Christ, dying predicting the Messiah will die for our sins and then on the third day he will be resurrected from the dead accordance nowhere in those scriptures does it say that why does this matter because Paul claims it does so he's bearing false witness to the Jewish scriptures but also the Jews themselves had never had any expectation they still don't today yes. that the Messiah would die and that he would be raised from the sure. dead what do the Jews expect the same expectation now as they did there. A, a Messiah is an anointed one, that's what it means, who is one like David, like the King David, the great king, who was anointed in 1 Samuel 7, 14. Anointed and he delivered Israel from his enemies, David did, and Jesus as a Messiah will do the same. It's nothing to do with dying on the cross for sins and rising on the third day. This belief is wholly absent from Judaism, it's wholly absent from the Jewish Bible, and therefore when Paul claimed this, he was speaking a falsehood about the scriptures. And that is the biggest evidence of all. If the scriptures, the Jews had said, yes, the Messiah would die for our sins, then yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty powerful. They never thought that. Before the rise of Christianity, there is no Jew known to history who ever said, ever expected that the Messiah would die, let alone die for that's sins, let fine. alone die. No, but it's, you that, say it's that, fine, no, no, but, no, but Paul claims that this was the Jewish belief. 
life according mm. to the scriptures. According to scriptures. But it wasn't. Mm. So what happened in Acts, we read of Paul going to the synagogues. This is his evangelistic methodology. He goes to the synagogues in Athens and downtown Corinth or wherever and preach to the Jews. And how did the Jews respond to this message? Which he must have known about. Of course, because the Jewish scriptures say that the Messiah would die and rise again. Yippee, they should have said. No, what they did was always they kicked him out. Get out. We don't know. You are alien. We know nothing about this message. It has nothing to do with our religion. This is fake news. That's how they all responded to, to Paul. So we know on multiple Jesus. levels that it is a fake story. It's not rooted in the scriptures. Mm. It's not rooted in the Quran. It's not rooted in any revelation. Well, it wouldn't be in the Quran. Well, no, indeed, sure. because it's not true. That's why it's not in the Quran. <laughs> really? So Jesus didn't get crucified? Indeed. Okay, well, yeah, it has to contain a lot of evidence so to prove, prove uh, the otherwise. Well, we, um, ha we have an inf someone who, for whom history doesn't exist. Who is this someone? Allah, God himself, is not looking back into history. All times are present to God. He knows with perfect clarity what really happened. And what did uh, the Quran actually okay. say? The Quran actually so you don't says... have any evidence for this? What, what, no, we, what, have, we, we do. We have evidence from God himself, no, 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 which no, no, no. outranks you, you, Paul, you even your Paul. You don't have any <laughs> physical evidence that Jesus was not crucified despite there being multiple accounts of this happening in the first century. No, but, but we don't. These accounts are written in is a second... Oh, this is a scholarly consensus. These are second generation not for accounts. They're anonymous. No gospel are claimed to be by a named individual. And they're not by eyewitnesses. These are not eyewitness accounts that you refer to. This is the standard scholarly consensus of all people that they're not. They're second generation, non-eyewitness, not by the apostles themselves. Matthew did not write Matthew. I'm sorry. John, the I apostle, didn't write that, John. That is, that is not, there's not a consensus on that. Some people might have criticisms. There is. Uh, well, seriously, uh, there in, is. In that case, but with Absolutely Christian apologetics, they don't agree. No, I'm talking about, no, I'm not about uh, Christian apologetics. I'm no, talking so about historians. With, there, there are historians. other historians that don't apologetics. that to be the case. Of course apologetics so, are going to say that. I'm course, talking about historians. They're not biased. In, in the, in the they're biased. In, in, in I'm the talking about historians. In the same way said that we have the greatest uh, um, historical account from Allah, because for him, all time yeah. is, is the same. Exactly. So in, in, that, in that same way, you provided zero evidence uh, for lack of crucifixion. It's evidence you don't accept it. It's evidence you just don't accept it. The evidence comes from God himself. When you sorry. It ranks um, anything it's, you it's say. It's a little bit lazy when I say um, God did it, therefore uh, it must be true. When there are certain things that we can verify more closely with actual tangible evidence. Well, you did the same thing though with the Bible. So you're well, what, what is your evidence? Bible, what is your evidence? Up. Second generation anonymous accounts, not written and, by eyewitnesses. And, and is your, your, is your evidence? evidence is, is then seventh century. No, it's not uh, seventh uh, century. The, 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 the Quran of, is the actual of, uh, speech God of Allah. God, 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 God is not seventh century. Later, <laughs> it's beyond space and time. That wasn't there at the instance of the crucifixion. And then you want me to leave that over the second God is present in all times. Your accounts are second generation by not the non-eyewitnesses. It's an inferior account to what God himself has provided. That, I, I, don't, I don't accept uh, doing Simple. God versus okay. human beings for, well, for I, evidence. I, because, I, don't, I, don't, well, okay, I thought wait, you were wait, a Christian. Wait, of course no, we no, believe no, God taking no, presence no, no, over no, you. No, no, no. No, okay, wait. Let, <laughs> let I thought you were a Christian. Let me, let me rephrase that. Huh? Sorry? Yeah. No, Thank no, you. No, no. I, 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 Judaism I, I, does not believe in a Messiah who died and rose again. It never is not taught it. Thank you. I must say that simply in terms of age. Thank you to that gentleman. Making a good point. That's your argument against no, 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 no. That, that, that's not my argument because essentially, <laughs> if, if there are, uh, if there's evidence of a uh, physical evidence of an event occurring, but then he tells me that because God said so, then. Sorry? No, but the Quran is not physical evidence of Jesus being crucified or not being crucified. It is. It's simply just an account it's a book. that claims that <laughs> it's got a book. It's yes, physical. But, it's but the it's problem is that the writers of the Quran were not there to crucifixion. The writers of the Quran no, no, God are is not the, present. No, no, no. The, all, the, the Quran so, is the speech of God. It's not written by people. The, the, the belief is that they were present. Uh, the the writers of the gospel Muslim. were present yeah. at the crucifixion. Well, what, what he said? Huh? What he said? He brought forward scholarly critique. They, they as to are, why there. These are people who you can. He says Christian apologetics disagrees. No, that's what it seriously is. Because he's got some website. That's not an argument. I'm talking about serious historians here. You have to be professing Christians as well, mostly. We don't believe evidence that. <laughs> that they wrote it yeah. from people who studied with them. Yes, the, well, compared to what is provided by the Quran, which is simply a statement, definitely yes.
So, so you, you have also extra biblical statements that support the idea that Jesus was well, crucified. Like, like for example, uh, let, let us compare Quran to the Bible. You can't compare it to. Do you have any eyewitness accounts? Do you have any eyewitness accounts? The eyewitness accounts are believed to be the writers of the four gospels. But, but, so but Matthew, Matthew, we say believe, but they're not believed by modern Christian historians to be eyewitness accounts. I'm sorry, do modern Christian historians believe that Jesus wasn't crucified? Well, no, they're Christians. No. They're Christians. Of course okay, they wouldn't wait, believe so, that. So we, the problem is <laughs> that we, we are using two slightly different like, um, like means of measuring here. So, yes, yes. So simply because in the Quran, God says something and doesn't provide any evidence for it, does not then mean that evidence is like come evidence before. Word. Uh, so so word. No, no, I'm, I'm saying that simply because... Sorry? Yeah, what's the eyewitness account? There are eyewitness accounts that, okay. are, that are attributed to Martin Luther and John. And, and if you're looking look, look, for an eyewitness can, account, where is that in, in, in the Quran? Can, can, are you going to say God's story? Can, can, can I, let's, look at, let's, look at, let's look at this. Let's look at this evidence in more detail. Let's look at the earliest gospel. We've already looked at Gospel of Mark. We've already seen that all the resurrection appearances, which are in our modern Bibles, are not actually there in the original gospel. That's beyond dispute. I don't no, know. Any, no, I do uh, agree excuse with me. that. Well, you don't. That. That's fine. But I, I recommend you investigate this for yourself. It, it's, I don't it's well agree known that. amongst no. the No, no. Second, you but now I want to come to the crucifixion. In a way, can I come to the crucifixion now? The crucifixion is mentioned in, in the Mark. Some in the Quran too. About but, but let's see what it actually says. Mm -hmm. Okay, because in John, the last gospel, we have disciples. We have Mary. We have John. At the very base of the crucifixion itself, looking up at Jesus. It's not portrayed in Catholic art in churches actually. But look at the earliest evidence. What do we see? All of the disciples, according to Mark, I'm not saying this, Mark is saying this, all the disciples scarpered. They ran away. All of them. But, well, not, well, not, it's a bit more. Some of the women, it says, saw the crucifixion at a distance. In my NRSV, that's exactly the English expression that's used. So all the disciples disappeared. They weren't around. They didn't witness anything. Some women, at a distance, saw what they thought was Jesus being crucified. And that is the earliest gospel witness to the crucifixion of Jesus. It's not very great, is it? And then we look at Paul. Ah, but Paul says that Jesus, yeah, he did. Paul never met Jesus. He never saw him once in his lifetime. So he is relying on hearsay. He's relying on stories he's well, heard. He, we affirm that he had a vision of Jesus. Oh, he had a vision. Yes. I, people have visions of Mary and Buddha and Margaret Thatcher, visions of their mother. What does it prove? I can have a vision today that he's He had a vision of his cat. You know, I mean, well, maybe not. But you know what I mean? It doesn't prove anything. Yeah. Visions do not, particularly when people with visions you. Visions don't prove anything. Exactly. So. Yes. The accounts in the Quran. I can tell him, yes. That Jesus was not crucified. Yes. How do we substantiate this? Right. The Quran is actually very sophisticated in what he says. Very tantalizingly brief. I wish it was more, but it is very brief. It's, it made what, it appear as though somebody. Thank else. you. It doesn't contradict. How do we substantiate this? The, the Quran says that it appeared to them, the Jews specifically, that he had been crucified. So what it do we find? Not, that the we, Jews, we affirm, some of them thought that he had been. The appearance was given. So this doesn't contradict yes. anything. The Quran doesn't contradict because yes, it, it says does. that it appeared to the Jews or some of them that he had been crucified. Jesus therefore, sent up to th therefore, it doesn't contradict it does. the historical <laughs> echo we have. Because some people thought they had the, seen the him. The contradiction is that somebody else was made. It doesn't say that in the Quran. It doesn't say that in the Quran. God made it appear yeah. that somebody. Well, no, no it God made it appear as though he was crucified. Right. So yeah. I, I not heard, someone else. I, I, I not heard, someone I heard else. some scholars say that he was swapped out. That's not what the Quran and, says. And, and That's I, not what the Quran I've says. I've heard some people say that he was swapped out, and I've well, heard people say that uh, his spirit left him and was later put back yeah, into that, him that, later. That, that's I'm, later I'm, Christian I'm, tradition, I'm, uh, Muslim tradition. We're talking about well, the Quran itself doesn't say any of that. The Quran says. The Quran says to the Jews who boasted that. Uh, they had crucified the Messiah yes. uh, because, because it, it comes in the context of polemic that God is making against the Jews but they killed the prophets uh, they boasted they killed the Messiah they boasted that uh, you know things terrible things that happened to Mary the, God, God says no, go, 
well, no, because the context matters here. It okay. always gets lost okay. when we talk about this. Yeah, yeah. It's part of a sustained polemic against the behavior of the Jews. Okay. And also in their boast that they had killed the Messiah. No, God says, they did not kill him. No, he did not. He was not crucified. Though it appeared to them that he had that he had been, or the appearance was given. Yeah. Now, his, history records, funnily enough, that indeed that, that he was crucified because his appearance was given. But in fact, the Quran is very clear. He was not crucified. He did not, he was not crucified. God rescued him. And we even see that in the Gospels in Gethsemane, where Jesus, according to the Gospels, begs God to be delivered from the hour that is about to, ordeal is about to happen to him. But then and Muslims, he not. And Muslims can, that's what it says in Luke. And Muslims can believe that God no, answered no, Jesus' no, prayer and in, saved him. Oh, what, what, why would a prophet who begged God to save yes, him not answer? Not God saved Jesus. And I believe that's the Muslim yes, story. Yes, that he was crucified. See where he just laid out? Huh? See where he just laid out? Where's the contradiction now? See the way he's laid out right now? Yes. He's saying it's perfectly... So in, do Muslims believe that today. Jesus was crucified? No, no, no. No, no sorry. No. Here's, the, here's the thing. No, Christian. and because they don't believe That's the Christian that, belief. then therefore it does not line up no, with the understanding so of Christianity. It because it, it cannot, because Christianity is belief in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Think if you they say that death did not happen, it cannot line up. No, 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 uh, it appeared to them so. So that means people who saw Christians who saw he was crucified, the lines perfectly. There's exactly. No That's my point. It was made That's my point. You believe he ascended we believe he died. So you guys don't. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, therefore, yeah, well, 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 we believe that, sir. Rather, Allah raised him to himself. So, so we believe in the ascension of Jesus. That's why Jesus wasn't around, because God raised him. You cannot make that argument when clearly. This is the verse after that one. Is, uh, so, contradictions in the Bible. So, this is the thing that you yeah. see. That is absolutely. Yeah. Incorrect. But it's, 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 making it appear, making it appear as though it's and lines, something actually lines. happening are two completely different things. Sorry. The ascension the that occurs but later. How would you know the difference? If huh? it appears to be that and it actually was that, exactly. How would you know the difference? No, you wouldn't. No, a, because, a casual bystander, a woman seeing that distance, wouldn't know the difference. We, how would they know? The belief they is wouldn't. that Jesus was crucified and died. So if anything else well, is saying is something Quran, different, then that is not consistent whatsoever. But the point that you are making here is there is so, no difference. So the, 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 point, the point that they're making is that ascension, ascension, crucify, crucify. Listen, listen. But well, then they're missing parts listen in the middle. The no, they're not, missing according to Islam. In the Bible. How can you actually prove anything? Who was carrying the cross, for example? Was it Jesus? Was it Simon of Up the hill, it, 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 it was Simon of Cyrene, but he don't get crucified. I, I think, I think. I, I but we know that because he's telling you, by the way, because he, he was there. <laughs> you, oh, 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 yeah, in, in the same no, way. That you're just I, telling us as if you were there. The How do you know? The author of the Quran can then tell us okay, that there, Jesus was crucified. There, there is an evidence. You want to hear it? Yeah, I, I love okay, to read Arabic. Is, can I just I read, can't, 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 read the rest of this verse, uh, which his brother has kindly given me? There you are. Uh, it's about the crucifixion in the Quran. So it said, obviously, they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. But, but uh, then they said, and indeed, those who differ over it are in doubt about it. They have no knowledge of it except the following, uh, the following of assumption. And they did not kill him for certain. Rather, Allah raised him to himself. And ever is Allah exalted in might and wise. There's nothing there that contradicts continue, history. Continue. Is that the next verse is... Oh, and there is none from the people of the book that he will surely believe in Jesus before his death and on the day of resurrection he will be against them as a witness, yeah. etc. That so. completely. Oh. Um, Thank well, you. Well, well, so certain parts of it are similar, but the fundamental messaging is completely different from Christianity. He will be a witness at the, in the hereafter that I've never been crucified. And he will account that, you for that. That is what you guys believe, but yeah. that is not what we believe. It should be agreed on the, Quran, huh? the Quranic content on the situation. No. In, the, in the current one right now, there is no contradiction between them, right? Absolutely. I don't know why they understand that point. Because don't, don't forget, the chronology of, of the story is told us though that uh, Jesus was about to be crucified and then some kind of illusion happened yeah. and then he wasn't. And then in that instance, he was then raised into heaven. What did he just read out? The, the, that, that exact thing. So it, 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 it was made to appear that he was crucified. Yeah. And then instead, he... I'm, 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 
Oh, 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 great. It's, it's, it's great to see that, that God is so ambiguous. It's great to see. Uh, I think that that's, that's an issue. However... <laughs> what about contradictions? Isn't that ambiguous as well? There's so many ways. No, no, no. Am ambiguity would, would entail... Yes, that, that God, Jesus begged God to um, deliver so him, to save him. We believe God story. answered his so, prayer and so said, I will save you, like Jesus. To be. He believes, he believes to be many God turned his back on Jesus and let him be horribly crucified. Was he actually crucified and his soul was This is the cruelty. The cruelty of that belief was compared he, to the mercy and love shown by Salah in the Quran. Some yeah, yeah, yeah. was uh, somebody else's yeah. face on his body. So, so, the book of Psalms say that Messiah would call out to That would, would be great. The more detailed, okay. the better is what I say. The do you remember the reference? Do you remember the reference? Psalms 81. But, but very well, and you can I, have I, I the discussion. Yeah, yeah, look it up. However, yeah. claiming as though the account of the, of the uh, crucifixion in, in, uh, in the Quran is one-to-one -one with what it is in the Bible, is completely inconsistent. No history. There are, there, there There's are no contradiction two, there between are the two, two similarities. No. However, you don't believe that he was crucified. We do. So clearly, yeah. that's a contradiction. We believe it appeared to. Yeah. So that fits it. No, no. But you, you see, like I don't you, know why. No, wait, wait, wait. No, no, because because no. the Quran says one thing. No, no, no. When you're saying one hand, this event occurred, and the Quran says it appeared to me that occurred. If you why say, why do you see contradictions? If you make a statement of something happening declaratively, I shot you. But then say something uh, that's ambiguous. It appears that I shot you. Yeah. Yeah. Those they are not somebody. the same thing. But they go online. What? But they go online. They, they, they go in harmony. No, right? no, 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 no. What? Why one not? of them. One of them is declarative because one of them ha is rooted in reality. I actually shot I you. Think they are different. If it I'm simply appears that. as though Jesus I shot you, Islam, then I could Islam, not have shot you. So the, 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 the two are they're, they're, not they're, they're, they're consistent. The Okay. Yes. Do you believe that there were zombies walking in Jerusalem? Actually, uh, <laughs> oh, the zombie apocalypse? Yeah, exactly. In uh, no, Matthew no, 27. They were not flesh eating. Ah, they, they're they vegetarian. Were vegetarian. <laughs> vegetarian zombies. It's no, a new thing, uh, uh, a new bidder in the religion. They were back home and had dinner. Were they uh, vegans, perhaps? Uh, were they no, vegans or vegetarians? Back home and had dinner. Kosher, of course. Kosher. Was it the yeah. parable or was it the historical fact that zombies walking in Jerusalem? So that, 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 is, that is something that is, that is something I agree, that is, uh, um, uh, Sort of like talked about um, in, on, in both instances. Do you think it's history? Um, by um, like, I sort of like scores of Christianity. Um, I have no hard set opinion on that because I do agree that if it, if it um, happened physically, then definitely there should be some other uh, accounts. But I also hold the same standard when things are talked about, like for example, a moon splitting in the seventh century and nobody seeing it. Oh, they did though. They, 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 they did. did. There, there were witnesses. Where in, the, India, where in India, in India, okay. in India, okay. there were witnesses. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. So, so you're wrong there. How, how many parts of the world <laughs> oh, well. should have been able to see the moon? During the day, well, half of the white planet would not have seen it during the day oh, okay. because it's daytime. So, there should be multiple accounts <laughs> there are. of the other half of the planet there are. seeing the moon splits. There are accounts, dude. <laughs> where, 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 well, where you, need to look, you need to look the them up. They're well attested at the time. There were accounts. Okay. The moon has not been but, but, but and, and, no, coming no, back no, to the no, zombie no, apocalypse. Not, not to if, you if the moon is split, that would unfortunately have great ramifications no, no, for us split. on the planets. Because don't you because, believe miracles? Huh? Don't you believe miracles? Oh, oh, okay, so so what what was so, this? The, the, the time comes. I'm not saying the Bible. He doesn't believe in zombie apocalypse. So. It was a miracle. Was the splitting a miracle? Of course, was. In which uh, a specifically visual miracle? Yeah. In which all other constants of of, uh, of uh, reality were not affected? Yeah. There were witnesses. Is, is, is that, there, there are witnesses. Jesus raised from death. How come? No, one, the, one more <laughs> split the sea <laughs> was what everybody knows. Yeah, because it's supposed to be a new world with a new born again Christian. We knew the creation. Yeah, it's just the same as it always was. There's, There's no difference. So that's, that's yeah. what Paul says. And, and, it's, uh, and it's written. Yeah. Well, check them out. It, you know he's like, okay, oh, said, you know time has come huh? and the moon has been split. What? Because you're saying for the moon has not been Jesus split yet. It's all right from to suspend the laws of physics. The moon has not been split. Wait, wait, wait. 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 I so, said, but I, believe, reason, I believe, I believe it I have read about it. I'm Muslim. As the idea of I've got a problem with you being resurrected from Jesus and me having been reason because we both believe in the supernatural. We both believe in miracles. Fair enough. We both believe in things. Fair enough. While a creep of God has been can happen, right? When you've got right, so like I don't know why you're doing scientific explanations to this thing is Alamatul Kubra because you and I both believe at the end in miracles, yeah. raising yeah. people yeah, yeah, from the dead and coming to the moon, which means when the time comes, the moon will split. One of them, no, I'm losing the will to live here. What did he say? Apparently, the moon splitting has high an epistemic weight of miracles. For example, it will have ramifications on the control tides in India. There's all it will have ramifications over the control tides. I thought the resurrection. Did. Yeah, nothing has changed. They, 
the the resurrection is the most effective oh, praise in order, order. very poor. It's the water. It's the water. It's a miracle that suspended all other functions of the moon. It's a miracle. It would help. 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 Otherwise, then, otherwise, then, I can have this ambiguity and have these discussions with you. If it was definitive, then very well, we, we can have an explanation as to how it happens. Yeah, However, not, the purpose of the book is not to describe. Awesome. Okay. Well, it, unfortunately, as, as a result, well, how the the tour, no? unfortunately, I'm looking at the zombie apocalypse. He, he suspended the gravity. Of, you know, Absolutely, uh, it's within God's power to do those things. But unfortunately, because that is a subject, then I am I'm free. Yeah, just give it a second. What's that issue? Sorry? What would you do with an eyewitness account of that event? I would need multiple, would you be, because it? definitely in, in, in the 7th century, there should have been multiple different individuals who could have been able to uh, maybe observe. Maybe they maybe they didn't have a paper, pen and paper to write it down. I mean, I mean, like, I mean, yeah, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I just to share with you okay. uh, another serious doubt about, I'm looking at Matthew's Gospel here, which does narrate the crucifixion, absolutely, in chapter 27. In the same chapter, in the same story about the crucifixion of Jesus, at the same time it says this, Okay, this is when Jesus crucified. Also oh, historical, sorry. according to him. The tombs were also opened, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. They came back, came back from the dead. Mm. These are resurrections. Oh, after, his, after his resurrection, they came out of the tombs oh, and entered the holy city and appeared to many people. Too many so they went people. home to their families, presumably. Yep. A mass resurrection of the dead. So, re re remember, the point is this. If we doubt this story, and all historians do doubt this story, because no other historian source mentions this. We have a contemporary Jewish historian, Josephus, who is from Jerusalem, mm. who doesn't mention this extraordinary mass resurrection of the dead. No other gospel mentions it. Luke doesn't, uh, John doesn't, Mark doesn't, Paul doesn't. The apologetic propaganda value of this story would have been huge if it had happened. But if this is myth, notice what this means. If we doubt, if we doubt that miracle story, it comes on the same page, the same verses as the crucifixion story. The whole thing is cast into doubt. How can we rely on a text no, that claims I, this I when, it's, that when it mixes fiction and myth with these claims? It's the same story. That therefore everything should be thrown away. Which away. extra biblical That's accounts? You know, I, I said I don't agree because one verse what other? has an occurrence that does not have sufficient extra biblical accounts that then the entire chapter no, or, or page. No, it's not, it, you then, misunderstand. Then, then if Matthew can. Fine. No, no, so, dude. So, so in, in that instance, because dude, you believe. Matthew can make stuff thing. up. I yeah, have yeah, no to rely. Uh, That's uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The point is, if Matthew can make stuff up so blatantly about the zombie apocalypse, how can we rely on him? completely in other stories he tells. The coinage is corrupted. What he's saying is no longer totally okay, trustworthy well, if he's been exposed as making stuff uh, up about the zombie what's, apocalypse. What's, you mean the how can, is not, no, how can we be sure about anything else he claims? This is the problem. It's not really about the zombie apocalypse. It's about the reliability of the Gospels to give us the Gospel truth, if I can use that pun. That's the point, which he's not listening to. No, very is that true to happen, the zombie apocalypse? He only said he doesn't know. Uh, uh, so are you. But historians, so how uh, know the no okay. historians have said that it happens. It just doesn't happen. It's myth. Because none of the source says it. Not just it's supernatural. No one else says it happens. And it would be multiply attested in the most amazing public event, even it happened. More amazing than the resurrection of Jesus. I like what we said about how you the entombment has all the resurrection. So if you reject that, you have that safe for women. It casts it casts everything into doubt. That's the problem. And that's the problem. It's the message. kind. Thank you. For example, there are instances why, where to John have on the translation of a particular like Sura, for example. They never saw the book. They went talking to the and, and then they would go to the prophet and ask him which, uh, which version of the Bible was. And he said the book. Both and he said the book. Yeah, so like it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's interesting, man. Talking about the zombie apocalypse and the reliability of Mark, Matthew, and etc., etc. Usual stuff. And you can see. He's, he's the, uh, the Christian. The rest are. 
Poor chap. I think so. I would have been No, that's okay. I want to hear. Oh, no, no, but you know what it means? It means the same thing. That's the same word, refer pronunciation. But then, so Malik, 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 you have uh, uh, Malik, Malik. Uh, look, look. Yeah, the rest of that. Not a question for that. And the same word, refer pronunciation. But then, wait, wait, wait. Before you, wait, sorry. Oh, sorry, before you go into the Haroop, I want to hear your answer to what he said. The verse is brought from Matthew right now. Yeah, the, the, the problem is, if, if, Matthew, if Matthew is shown to be unreliable yeah, historically... I, I, I already said that because why? one instance does not have sufficient extra biblical accounts of it occurring yeah. does not then mean that you should throw away all the other occurrences in that same chapter no, or book. But that's not the, the point is that Matthew is making a story up from fiction. It's a myth. It's a falsehood. Not that there's not independent corroboration. There's an actual falsehood. Therefore, if he could do that about one story, it contaminates all him. How no, can we be no, reliable? No. It, it, it does not. There is no, there is no uh, instance where by simply um, making one claim that does not corroborate with uh, the physical reality, therefore everything else made is completely... Uh, but, but historians say that it's a made-up story. Okay, and I agree with them. historians therefore, say if that, he makes, no, and that is fine. Well, they all do. I've never come across an historian, to be honest, ever, who ever says this oh, actually happens. In, in, in this world, you can find anything you look for. No, no, these are Christians I'm talking about. Christians. Is it fictional? I think uh, it doesn't necessarily matter if that oh. story is... No, of course it matters. Is a mass resurrection of the dead in Matthew. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Matthew thought it mattered. If it's physical, if it's physical or, or it's not physical. Verse. Because ultimately, okay. that has nothing to do with the core doctrines of Christianity. So if somehow believing in It's the resurrection of the dead uh, is a core... The resurrection of the dead is a core Christian belief. No, Matthew says it, that loads it, of people rose from the this dead. Believing it, Everyone knows it's a fake story. You believe in, in the, uh, the definition of Jesus. The important thing for us is that we believe in the death and resurrection of Jesus. For, uh, and to, to have an, an Islamic uh, uh, comparison, for example, the, the uh, Isra and the Mirage, right? Was that physical? Was that spiritual? Doesn't really matter. The important thing is that it is that the context of the story is what is then carried on by, by the by the uh, believers going forward. So when it comes to that instance, it is not important to believe or disbelieve in the idea of those particular dead rising. What is important to believe is the death and resurrection of Jesus. So I, I think it would be great if we had other extra-biblical accounts of the dead rising. But to my knowledge, I haven't come across any. So that's my answer. Yeah. Yeah, but that's the truth. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a false story. It's but the Bible says many things. So if someone was not a Christian, he would just look at it as a text, as a historical text. So I, I you'll think. Find many things but, as, absolutely. And I think everything should be read in this context. Yeah. Uh, someone give it. That's all. <laughs> I know. I, I, you know, I, I actually, I want to say, this is kind of nice. Like, normally, uh, when so I, I have. I can't uh, go anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not going to listen. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, no, 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 no combo. No combo is pretty good. Yeah, whenever I talk to most of them, it gets heated normally. But you guys are pretty good, so shout out to you. <laughs> But back to the mafia account. So you're saying yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. No, no, it doesn't. But as a Christian, Matthew surely, did. He, he, exactly. Matthew did. He wrote about it. Yeah, that's fine. It. That's fine. Well, yeah, well, it, it disagrees it, with it, you. But you know, <laughs> except this point though about being consistent about the idea that if you're going to affirm the resurrection, if you want to deny, if you're going to say that that was fictional, then that everything I horrible, else. Then the rest of the paragraph no, was the resurrection. No, I don't agree. Why not? Because that's called to be consistent. Why no, no, it, it does not necessarily mean that because. Simply because one thing does not have sufficient extra-biblical accounts does not mean that everything else does not. Now, it's now, not, it's it, not, it, not sufficient evidence. It's a false fabrication, made-up story. But this is the consensus of historians. If as a it's result, a made-up story. If as a result of this... Think about it. You then want how can to it be look true? Mass resurrections of the dead in broad daylight and left no trace on the historical record. No other gospel knows if about as a result it. And you of imagine this, if you were a Christian you in the... You want to scrutinize this is, the, this, is the be, this is the best Absolutely argument. you can do that. This is the best argument. If you were a Christian in the early church and you knew that there'd been a mass resurrection of the dead in downtown Jerusalem at the moment Jesus was crucified, okay? No coincidence. Yeah, as a just as Matthew said, imagine it happened for a second and you were a Christian. What would you do? You sit there and say nothing. You wouldn't tell anyone, would you? Of course you wouldn't. You go out there and you preach about it. You say, ah, oh, isn't Jesus amazing? He rose from the dead. All these people and rose from the dead. And happen, it would be yeah? a fundamental part of Christian preaching no, and propaganda no, 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 for no. years. And it would be all over the New Testament. And in fact, it would be all over the Jewish script. Be, everyone would know about this amazing story mm. of the mass resurrection of the dead in broad daylight in Jerusalem so at the precisely the moment Jesus died. But the reality is nothing, no one ever, no Christian ever may capitalize